Hi, as Windows 10 support is coming to an end, today I'll show you the easiest way to upgrade to Windows 11, I will be doing this and recording the video on an unsupported PC that is over 11 years old. You won't need a USB flash drive created with Rufus, and we won't be touching the registry editor either, this process is as simple and straightforward as it gets. I'll open settings, and we'll look at my processor information together. It used to be quite fast, and I'm confident the new Windows 11 won't be slow on this computer. Just in case, you can check if your PC or laptop is compatible with Windows 11 using Microsoft's free PC health check tool, I've already checked mine, and you can find the download link in the video description. And most importantly, during the update, all your personal files, settings, and installed applications will be saved, and your Microsoft license will remain valid. What you will need is a Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft's official website, so, open your browser and search for Download Windows 11. Or open the video description, and click the link to go directly to the download page. On Microsoft's website, you'll find detailed information about Windows 11. Click the link to download the ISO file, this will launch the media creation tool. Once it's downloaded, open File Explorer, go to your Downloads folder, and double-click the installer. Accept the license terms. On the next screen, you can uncheck the box if you want to change the language. I'll stick with English. Click Next. Now, select the option to download the ISO file instead of creating a bootable USB. Choose where to save it, I'll pick the desktop. Click Save and the download will start, once it's finished, we'll continue with the guide. Ok, the ISO file has finished downloading, lick, finish to close the media creation tool. To mount the ISO as a virtual drive, just double click the ISO file. Then, open this PC, and take note of the drive letter assigned to the virtual disk, and my system, it's drive D. Now, right-click the Start button, and select Windows PowerShell, Admin. In the PowerShell window, we'll enter just two simple commands. First, type, cd, space, d, and colon. Replace d with your actual virtual drive letter, if it's different. Then press, Enter. Next, type, dot, slash, setup, dot, exe space slash product space server and hit enter again you'll see a window that says install windows server but don't worry that's completely normal at the end of this process your system will be running windows 11 as you'll see later in the video click next and the installer will start preparing your PC. Accept the license terms. Now we're offered three installation options, keep everything, your personal files, settings, and apps. Keep only personal files, like photos, videos, and documents. Or keep nothing. In essence, this will be a clean installation of Windows 11. I'm choosing the first option, keep everything. Then click, Next. Ok, Windows 11 is ready to install. All settings are configured, and if you need to make changes, you can still click back. Otherwise, click Install to begin. But one more thing before we continue. The update process may take some time, and if you are using a laptop, make sure it is connected to a power source. Now, click Install. During installation, 
your PC will restart several times. Please, do not turn off your computer. Windows 11 is here to welcome us. Yes, the upgrade was successful, and now my PC is running the latest version of Windows 11. As you can see, all of my folders and documents are still right here on the desktop, and all of my apps are working exactly as before. Now let's take a look at the system details. Open Settings. Go to the System tab. And scroll down. Then click About. Here you can see my processor, although it's not officially supported by Windows 11, the installation went through without any issues thanks to this method. So now I have the latest Windows 11 running on my old PC. Let's also check the activation status. Go back to the system section, and click activation. As you can see, Windows 11 is activated with my digital license. Now, let's confirm that we're still receiving security updates even on this unsupported device. I go to Windows Update, and click Check for Updates. And there it is, updates are downloading without any problems. I really hope this video was helpful to you. If so, please share it with anyone who might need it. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck.